Hello everyone and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are here to do your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. This is not tied to any zodiac sign and it is a general reading, so not all the messages that come out will resonate with all of you. Just take the parts that do and leave the rest behind. So let's see where we go here. Messages for people watching, please. What do we need to know for the day ahead? Thank you. All right. This is a message from your spirit animal guides. And we have the tortoise. Okay. It's all about getting grounded, um, figuring out what you want. All right. We'll go deeper into that, though. And let's see. Message for people watching. Messages for people watching, please. All right. Take that one that flew out and we have moonlight all right it's all about illumination and we also have storm fields okay Whoop. all right i'm going to pull all of your tarot and then we'll go deeper into these so messages for people watching please current situation Let's see your current energy and we have the six of fire all right, so some of you are experiencing some success, um, looking out to new horizons. You're standing in the spotlight there, some of you. Wow, okay. Do we want both? All right. The Three of Earth is today's situation or challenge. Advice from Spirit is the Eight of Water. And your outcome energy is the Nine of Earth. Beautiful success and abundance with that so the six of fire is clarified wow by the moon there's that moon energy again all right three of earth is clarified by the queen of air eight of water clarified by the eight of earth and the ace of air clarifies that nine of earth all right so you do have the number 88 coming out here for you all right and you also have the number 99 99 so if you want to look up those numbers the spiritual meaning of those numbers there'll be a lot of extra messages in there for you so we have the tortoise coming out first all right you're too fragmented so do whatever it takes to get grounded now you might be so busy and have so many priorities that you're pulled in a million directions you have pressure from home pressure from work from your children your spouse perhaps for some of you um, your family um, and you might be sitting there at the end of the day going I don't even have five minutes for myself some of you might be suffering a bit of anxiety perhaps you're not sleeping so well all right but the tortoise reminds you and spirit reminds you that you need to find a little bit of balance and prioritize people's other people's emergencies might end up being your problem because perhaps they guilt you into feeling as though you have to drop everything and help them and out of a sense of guilt okay or because you feel you have to um, you might be making their priorities yours so again, Spirit says here, you need to find a healthy medium, a healthy balance, right? Put up some boundaries. And because while you're very capable of, you know, doing everything, um, it's not sustainable. The tortoise in itself is slow and steady wins the race, right? And, um, you know, the, tor the tortoise is not a very fast moving energy either. So get grounded get focused and put up some boundaries wherever you need to and you might be you know worried that um you know when you put up boundaries or you start saying no that people get upset um but the only people who get upset when you set boundaries are the ones that are taking advantage of you okay so that's that message from spirit is to find that balance and to prioritize all right now we have moonlight coming out um, this is all about using your intuition, listening to your gut, okay? So you're thinking of starting something new, follow your intuition, follow your heart, 
all right? You know instinctively what to do and where to go and what to follow. So quiet your mind and you will uh, figure out a path forward, all right? And it doesn't have to be like anything major in your life. It can just be how you're dealing with people, how you're dealing with situations, um, you know, finding out how to come to a peaceful resolution to somebody or to something, I should say. Okay, but it's all about listening to your intuition because it is on point. All right, and we always say, you know, that saying hindsight is twenty twenty, and damn it, I knew I should have done this or I knew I should have said this. That's your intuition. All right, and it's that first instinct that you get, that first um, gut feeling. All right, and then your mind takes over and messes everything up. Okay, so listen to your intuition because it won't steer you wrong. Now, some of you with the storm fields, um, there might be a situation that you're dealing with, perhaps involving um, a work situation, because we do have that three of earth coming out, which um, is in your challenge position, which is all about teamwork. So if you're in a group activity or you're just in, you know, a workplace where you have to collaborate with other people, there may be some, uh, a bit of infighting with that. Perhaps someone has been made into, um, you know, a project leader or something and, you know, there's others that are a bit jealous or, you know, they don't want to work together. Everyone wants to be the leader. Um, this can even be a conflict within yourself and trying to find your way forward or figure out the problem to a solution, find that clear way of thinking. Um, and it could be with a person. Um, but spirit says that whatever your situation, you intuitively know how to resolve it. And you're going to do so with logic and intellect because we have that queen of air coming out as well all right and you're going to intuitively know how to deal with the situation and the storm shall pass okay it's not a permanent energy or anything um and the storm will pass and the sun will shine again and there will be a resolution to it however that looks for you so we have the six of fire i love the six of fire okay this is an energy of success. So whatever area of your life that you feel successful now or you've been working towards something, okay, it's your time to shine. Stand in the limelight, right? You influence people with this energy. People look up to you. They see you as a leader. They see you as that, you know, that guiding light kind of energy, Okay, and so this can be you, um, uh, you know, chasing that promotion, that dream job. It can be you as the leader of your family. All right, it could be you figuring out the solution to a conflict or a situation that no one else seems to be able to figure out. And you're like, okay, you know, I think I can do that. All right, but people are guided by you. And they see you in such a positive energy with the six of fire. And again, it's it's a successful energy also. So, um, and it's one that moves you towards the future, okay? And a lot of success at your back with that. We have the moon coming up with it too. So two moons, okay? Very, um, uh, very significant, okay? Never ignore the synchronicities that come out in these readings. So two moons. So it's another reminder that your intuition is on point. You know deep down how to deal with situations. Now you might all and you might not reveal your situation to um, everybody. All right, um, but you're willing to face your fears with this energy as well. You illuminate. The moon is all about illumination. Okay, so it feels here that you have the power to get to the truth of a matter. Okay, you're you're not afraid of doing the deep digging, okay, that deep dive um, to number one, reveal the truth of a situation, okay, but also you're willing to face your fears with this. And it's like almost that with this six of fire coming with it, um, it's almost that uh, conquistador energy, like you know, you're you're on a conquest, you're on a mission, and you're not gonna let yourself fail. So it's like slaying your demons, slaying your dragons, and that's allowing you to move forward. Okay. It's a really powerful energy to be quite honest, but it's again, also one of your highly intuitive 
at this time. So it's like you just have that deep inner knowing, you know, you can see through anyone's um, BS, all right, um, including your own, by the way, including your own. And you just, you know, you just bring things to light, bring things to the surface and grab that bull by the horns with the six of fire and you just kind of fix things. All right, I'm meaning like a fix things kind of energy with that as well. All right, but you're not you're not afraid to move forward and to um, see things for as they truly are. So today's situation or challenge. <laughs> so we have the three of earth coming up with the queen of air. Now that three of earth in this deck is all about teamwork and collaboration, working with others building a foundation but this typically has to do with your uh, career and finances all right and we have the queen of air which is all about inner wisdom intuition um logic logic and intellect rule the day when the queen of air comes into play here now this can be you all right um getting to the heart of a matter and that involves other people. And again, we'll touch on that work situation again, perhaps. And perhaps there's some infighting or you're dealing with a difficult person. There's no reversals in this deck. So with that queen of air showing up in your challenge position, um, you might need to influence someone's opinion. They might be a little bit stubborn. They think they know everything. Okay. Or this is you coming in to... Um, solve a problem or to get, um, you know, perhaps everyone is, has different opinions. Uh, if this is a work project or a project in the home, perhaps as well, because the earth can also be about the home. Um, you might be the pay, the, the leader of the family. Okay. Or, you know, what people perceive as to be the leader. Okay. And, you know, you're putting an end to a situation, you're resolving something here and you're doing so with, uh, an air of authority, okay? When you speak, people listen, okay? Because in reality, they just don't want to piss you off, all right? So, um, but people do look to you for that guidance and that wisdom that you possess. So, again, that can be you putting an end to a situation, okay? Or finding a resolution to something, all right? It can also be you intuitively knowing um, how to invest in something, right? The three of earth can sometimes be about investing something. So um, invest in a business, invest in yourself, okay? It can just be investing your time and energy as well. That queen of air again can be someone that you're dealing with that might be being a little bit stubborn, okay? Perhaps someone in your work group or in your home. And, you know, but you have a lot of influence over this situation or over this these people or person, Okay, and it feels like um, uh, that you have the ability to get to the heart of the matter, get to the truth of the situation and come to a good resolution. All right. Um, so it's a really good energy to be in right there. Advice from spirit. Eight of water. We also have the eight of earth. So for some of you, if you're putting all your time, effort into your career, Advice from spirit is, first of all, to keep working hard, okay? That eight of earth um, is a level of mastery and working towards completion, okay? And working towards, um, perhaps some of you are working towards your uh, degree, um, furthering your education, okay? Um, spirit says keep going, all right? Keep going. There's better things ahead for you, okay? Don't give up and keep on persevering. For others of you, okay, this eight of water, it can be about moving forward, but it can also sometimes be about leaving things behind or following a different path. So some of you are going to continue um, working hard and working on the path that you're on, okay? And for others, you might need to um, take a new course of action, follow a different direction, perhaps a different career path for some of you. The one you're on isn't necessarily working for you and you're looking for something better, okay? You're looking to find your pot of gold, find your treasure, all right? You're looking to, for a different ship to come in, 
for you and you're going to take all of your knowledge and resources with you on your new journey or your new path. Something that's more emotionally fulfilling perhaps than where you are, okay? Because that three of earth can be, um, you know, about some infighting, right? So um, for some of you, that resolution to some conflict around that might be to move on. But there's a lot of success in your future, however that resonates for you, that nine of earth, okay? We go from that eight of earth for advice up to the nine. So some of you might follow a different career path. Perhaps there's a job opportunity that comes across your way. This can also be a promotion or a raise, right? Maybe you did, um, maybe you helped lead your team on such a good outcome to a project that you got your bonus, okay? The nine of earth is all about um, success, material wealth, some abundance, and also about being very successful, okay? Um, you are a leader, so this feels like, and for some of you, you've done this all on your own, okay? You've marched to the beat of your own drum, and you followed your intuition to follow your path towards success. And we have the Ace of Air as well. This is beautiful energy because this is mental clarity and focus. This is knowing what you want and taking steps towards it. New way of thinking, mental um, epiphanies as well come with this ace of air. Um, but this is beautiful energy. The aces are gifts from the universe. All right. So for some of you, okay, for some of you, this is that new beginning. Something that allows you to make some money and stand up for yourself and, and be successful with just you. Some of you may perhaps open your own business. And you're like, nah, screw this. I'm tired of wait. I'm tired of working for other people. I'm gonna take everything I've learned, and I'm gonna take my my success, and I'm gonna put it towards something that is mine, and truly mine. So it's really a beautiful outcome energy. Truly, it is. And it feels too because you've been so dedicated. Right with this eight of earth, this advice from spirit, remain dedicated, remain focused, and keep working towards your uh, success. All right, this ace of air can be karma at play for you as well. Right again, it's it's gifts from the universe. Okay, but it's also the reward you get after being so dedicated and so driven and so focused towards your outcome. So with this queen of air here, this again can be you working to build something and build something that um, will be successful and that will take you towards the future. Okay. It's really beautiful, powerful, um, positive energies around here. So I'm going to leave that for you, but I'm going to close out your reading with a spellcaster oracle. What do people need to know? One more message for people watching, please. And we have compassion, all right? And we also have inspiration, okay? So inspiration, that's number one, you being an inspiration to others, right? You're that influencer energy with that six of fire. You're also looking for your inspiration and looking for that guiding light, looking how to move forward, right? You're full of passion and creativity with this energy and it's also that um, that spark of creativity, all right? So whether you are an inspiration to others, which I do see that you are with that six of fire, okay? You are an inspiration to others, but you're also looking for further inspiration that comes from within, right? You're doing that digging deep energy there with the moonlight and the moon, all right? You're uh, truly doing some deep dives into your soul, but compassion, no matter what situation you're faced with or what you're dealing with, you show caring, kindness, and compassion to others. This is a global view. This is very much in relation to, um, you know, that queen of air 
sometimes can lead with compassion and this one a lot of wisdom okay but um but whatever obstacle you face whatever challenge whatever conflict all right you again are that leader you're that inspirational force that influencer energy and you can you have the power within you to resolve any situation okay and avert uh we'll call avert disaster okay or avert a blow up right and you don't do it with you know a firm hand you do it with that kindness and caring and that warm energy that people really look for and that people really respond to as well all right so a lot of success here for you guys right truly like it right tune into your intuition don't ignore that Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you. Hopefully there was some messages here along the way that help you out. If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have the most wonderful day ahead and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.